What's up, YouTube? For today's video, we have a pin church and sweep. This Pokemon has been highly requested in my comment section, so I thought I'd give this little guy a little try. So this Pokemon's actually a pure electric type, so it's only got one weakness, which is ground, which is super, super cool. Now, it does look a lot like Pukumuku, and some of their moves are actually very, very same, but they do play a little bit differently. Um, pin church has a lot more offense than Pukumuku, and Pukumuku is a lot more bulkier. Anyway, if there's a Pokemon sweep you'd like me to do make sure you leave it in the comment section of the video i'm going to try and do all the pokemon uh, eventually but uh if we want to go for certain ones you guys want to see them earlier let me know now i did do a grim snarl sweep yesterday i know a lot of pokemon people haven't seen that one so make sure you check that out on my channel as well as all the other ones i've done too if you are curious of that one just go check it out all right uh today's battle was crazy there was some crazy lives on uh, like either side of the battle so yeah make sure you check this whole one out i don't want to spoil anything though all right, so we got a little bit of a basic lead here. We're just going to be leading things off with the salts and the rolts. We got Trick Room. So this is a very, very slow Pokemon. So we're going to be making use of Trick Room. Uh, this Pokemon, you know, kind of works under these uh, circumstances the best. So we're going to go for Protect. We've got a uh, Barra Scooter coming out. It's going to go for a Liquidation, trying to make my little rolts salty. Uh, I can go for a uh, Memento or a Trick Room here. I'm thinking in this case, so this Pokemon's quite bulky. Um after the build that I'm doing. So I'm actually going to be using, instead of Memento, I'm going to be going for a Safeguard because I'm thinking if I can pop this Trick Room open, right, get that going, and then bring the uh, Pin Church in, I'll have the type advantage against the Barrascooter, and I don't think they're really going to be wanting to stay into like a Zing Zap, right? All right, so setting up the Trick Room. Trick Room looks really cool. I like the animation for that. And uh, now we've got one Trick Room. So that's one turn used. So I've got four more turns to make this work. So instead of going for a Mentor, I'm going to be going for a Safeguard. Safeguard's going to stop all those status for uh, a couple of turns, which is going to be really handy. All right, people. Hope you enjoyed this battle. It was some crazy, crazy shenanigans going on, and I'll catch you at the end of the video for the usual strategy. Enjoy.
right, let's go over the uh, Pukimuku, I mean Pinchuriken strategy. And let's talk about that battle first. So what happened right is I had the Trick Room up, which is really, really good. I managed to get a couple of curses in. Now, there was a lot of actual counters uh, on the other side of the field. There was that Barrel Scooter with Drill Run. If um, I got critted once by that Drill Run, I was toast. Like, that was going to absolutely destroy me. I'm thinking that was definitely choice as well. Now, also, did you see that Garbolder leave the, um, the, the Gigamax Garbolder leave that incoming, like, Zing Zap? I think I was, like, plus three or four. That was... That that was a crazy live. I'm definitely thinking that was like max health and max defense. And uh, it also had its uh, Giga Max move. Fortunately, I had the Lumberry there, which actually got rid of that effect. And I was able to take it out before it could do it again. So that was really, really good. Now, I had the Electric uh, Surge on this one, which really powered up my Electric type moves. And also prevented me from uh, Pokemon trying to put me to sleep and stuff, which is good. Not that it happened in this battle, but it was kind of handy in some battles that I did. Now, at the end there, you know, the Berserker actually went for a... Uh, sword dance. It's like, why is it going for sword dance? Right, it's clearly going to get one-shotted. Then it had the focus sash, and then it went for the flail. Man, that almost took me out. That did a lot of damage. Like, that was crazy. Like, that was, that was the pretty, that was actually a pretty cool team with us, I have to say. So if that person is watching this video, I thank you for the battle. That was, that was awesome. Um, I think that was pretty much all the close encounters that I had there. The, the, basically, the Barrascuta drill run, the flail, and the Garboda. They were pretty crazy. Anyway, let's have a look at my sets that I did. Now, as I was saying, this is very similar to Pikimiki, but if you notice, its health stat actually really isn't that good. It's, it's, it's not great. Like, it needs, in, in my opinion, it needs, like, more health. But, uh, you know, that's not going to happen. So we got Curse, Zing Zap, Recover, and Liquidation. I felt uh, Zing Zap and Liquidation were the best coverage moves. If I just went with Electric, I would obviously be, you know, be prone to not be able to hit ground types. Now, we had Curse in this one to bolster my defense and attack, which worked really nicely with max health and max special defense. But unfortunately, it wasn't as bulky as you probably like. Like if you want to compare it to a Pukumuku, it didn't have a lot of health, so it wasn't as good in that way. Now, this could be run a different way. I feel it could be run under Trick Room with just max health and max attack. That could definitely work too. And then you could go for those Zing Zap um, flinches and stuff like that. I think that'd be pretty, um, yeah, be pretty good. Um, instead of going for like just a straight sweep, but maybe you know on a team you could run that easily on a Trick Room for sure. Now you get some other moves. You can run a special set on it as well. I noticed, um, you know, it did get Electric Train, which is really nice, but it also got lightning rod too so you could uh, bait out a uh, you know like a electric type move on maybe a four times weak pokemon swap it in and go for a special uh, attacking set that could uh, you know that could be an option too i'm just looking at some of its moves it gets like you know hydro pumps thunderbolt things like that Anyway, people, that's pretty much it uh, for this strategy. It was an awesome battle. Very, very, some crazy close parts. And I might catch you for another Pokemon video tomorrow. All right. Peace out, people.